Okay, so what we're going to do today is take a look at a balanced first stage piston regulator and how it works. As always, the idea of these videos is to really simplify it. So we're not going to go in depth and look at, you know, technician level knowledge. We're just going to look at the basic concepts on how they work. So this is definitely aimed at those people who have little or no working knowledge of regulators at all in the hopes that you get a base of familiarity on which you can do your own research and grow your knowledge upon. Okay, so if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get started. Okay, so what we've got here is a non-brand specific depiction of a balanced piston first stage regulator. So before we get started on the mechanics of it, I'll just give you a quick rundown on what we're looking at. The, the thick black lines that we're seeing, this is the structural parts of the first stage. So we have the, the outer shell here, as well as an internal separation of chambers. These are static non-moving parts. We have the green dots, which represent different gas densities. So you can see we have a high pressure chamber here, and we have an intermediate pressure chamber up here represented by the, the different closeness of the green dots. We have the actual piston itself, which is this blue T-shape in the, the center of the first stage right there. This is a moving part. Uh, we also have the red lines, which is a bias spring, which actually circles around that piston internally. These are, um, these are moving parts, so they flex up and down. Around the first stage as well, we have some hydrostatic pressure ports, which are basically just gaps or holes in the, the outer walls, which allow water to enter because the water pressure actually aids this function of flexing up and down of the piston. So how does this all work? Well, once everything is connected, we see we have high pressure gas coming in from the cylinder into this chamber. We also have in the intermediate pressure chamber, which which leaves and goes towards the second stage, which is where the diver inhales from. So when the diver inhales, what they're doing is they are taking this intermediate gas out of this chamber and directing it towards them. So this gas, this intermediate pressure gas, will be taken out and go towards the diver. What that means is the pressure inside this chamber is going to start to drop because the gas is leaving the chamber and going towards the diver. So the pressure falls inside of here. Now what that in turn allows is it allows this spring to sort of uncoil itself a little bit because the tension of this spring is set to around the same pressure as the intermediate pressure port. So when the gas pressure in here drops, this spring can then start to uncoil itself a little bit which means as it uncoils, it starts to push the piston up. As that piston pushes up, it unseats itself from the base here, which means it allows this high pressure gas to then start leaking inside of the piston because there is no seal anymore. If it rises up, the gas gets inside and it works its way up through the piston into this chamber where it starts to build again. Now, as the pressure builds inside this chamber, what it does is it starts to actually push the piston back down and reseal it across the bottom, preventing more high pressure gas from entering. This will keep building until the pressures are equal, and then that's when it is sealed. Now, this will keep repeating itself, this process, as long as the diver keeps inhaling and exhaling. So again, diver inhales, they remove this intermediate pressure gas from that chamber, which in turn allows the uncoiling of the spring. So the spring can then uncoil itself a little bit, which pushes the piston up. It becomes unseated from the base here. This high pressure gas can then leak inside the piston, work its way up and start to fill this chamber. As it fills the chamber and the pressure builds in here, it pushes the piston back down, which reseals it across the bottom and it will keep repeating and repeating and repeating as long as the diver is breathing. 